she is using her shoulder, ball and socket in her in her she's also using her ball and socket which shifts. Now she is leaning forward using her vertebra in her spine. As she leans forward, her hinge joint in her elbows flexes. This is what Gemma would be doing under the skin. Of course, she'd be using her fingers, which are her hinge joints, and her wrist, which is a gliding joint. Of course, elbows are a hinge joint too. Still, she'd be using her shoulder, which is a ball and socket joint. She is using her ball and socket joint in her hips and shoulder to run forward, and also using her hinge joint and her elbows and knees to run to get the ball. And what was the wrist? Wow. wow. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Hello, and uh, I'm the scientist for today, and this is my helpful uh, talker, who is going to be talking for today, my actor, who is climbing up the stairs, um, and our lovely artist, who is doing the drawing, as you can see. Um, well, firstly, as he walks up the stairs, he bends his knee, the hinge, joint and moves his hip, ball and socket joint, up. Next, he lowers his hip joint and places it onto the stem. This carries on until he's got up to the top of the stairs. While he climbs up the stairs, he puts on and releases pressure on his toes. Thank you for listening and I'd just like to say thank you to all our crew. As James throws the ball, he bends his elbow and um, um, using his pin joint. When he begins to bend forward to throw the ball, he stretches his pin joint and first twist and he first twists his carpal, which is um, the wrist. And then he flicks his flanges, which is his fingers, and the ball carries on the next person. Rebecca is going to take you through it while Saucer is demonstrating his jaw movements with a skull. Henry is using, using his hinge joints that make up his fingers when he bends his elbow to place the toothbrush in his mouth. Henry is using another hinge joint. When Henry throws back his head to spit, he's using the pivot joint in his neck. When Henry has finished, he uses his wrist to turn the tap on. He's, he's using a gliding joint. Then he bends over and picks up his towel. He is using not only the hinge joints, but the, his knees, but also the gliding joint in his back. Now for an, for an ad from our sponsor. I use L'Oreal to face because I'm worth it! This is Phoebe. She's about to pick up the pen case in front of her. She is using her ball and socket joint. She is also using her high joint and that is fingers, knee, cap, shoulder, neck, head, finger, finger base, spine and gliding joints. As you have just seen, a simple task like picking up a cup or pencil case takes a lot of things for such a simple task. So next time you pick up something, remember how many joints you are using. This is a talk about joints. There are four types of joints. The ones we are using today, the hinge and gliding joint. I will ask my partners to start walking and carry the point to the joints they are using. The first joint they are using is in the elbow, which bends their arm so they can um, pull their arm up so they can start to walk. They are also using their wrist which helps them to walk as well. On the leg, they're using their, um, there's a hinge where their knee is, which is helping, which is bending their leg. Also to help them move their leg up is all the, mus all the muscles inside of our leg, which is quite a lot. And they're 
they, they help to make us walk. Also, they're using their ankles to put their heel down in the front of their foot. Thank you for listening. Well done.